Hello, Dr. Joe here of the 2020forum.com. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about a sleep benefit that is often ignored. We're going to be answering the question, if sleep is vitally important for our immune system to perform optimally. And uh, we're going to be looking at three pieces of evidence uh, to find out whether sleep is actually uh, important for our immune system to be uh, right up there defending us when we need it. So, um, by the way, this is video number four of the uh, immune system optimization video series. So if you haven't watched the others, it, it would be a good idea for you to watch them. So the first evidence is actually related to me. Uh, now, as a medical doctor, I have to do night shifts every now and again. And um, one thing I've noticed is that every time I've had a flu attack, and I'm referring to a proper flu attack, not just a common cold, um, it's always been preceded by uh, night shift by sleep deprivation. Well, you might say, well, that is anecdotal. Yes, that is true. You might say that is observational. That is also true. So now let's dive in to look at something more scientific, shall we? So the first study actually answers the question, does sleep hygiene influence your vulnerability to viral infections? And uh, this is the study. Uh, the study is titled, uh, sleep habits and susceptibility to the common cold and it was published in the archives of internal medicine So what was this study about? Well, the uh, researchers recruited 155 young healthy men and women They established their sleep habits whether they had good sleep habits or bad sleep habits uh, prior to uh, being uh, recruited into the study and they also uh, quarantined them and had nasal drops containing rhinovirus administered into the study participants. So essentially they were actually deliberately infecting these study participants with the rhinovirus. By the way, the rhinovirus is a virus that causes uh, the common cold and they monitored who developed clinical infection over the next five days. So what were their results? Well, they found that uh, there was a graded association with average sleep duration. What does that mean? It means participants with less than seven hours of sleep duration were 2.94 times, nearly three times more likely to develop a cold than those with eight hours or more of sleep. So uh, the more sleep you had, the better protection you had uh, from uh, being attacked by the common cold as far as this study was concerned. Another finding was that participants with low sleep efficiency were five and a half times more likely to develop a cold than those with 98% sleep efficiency. By sleep efficiency, they were referring to the actual time, the actual number of hours you uh, spent sleeping as opposed to just being in bed and just messing about really. So the better sleep efficient you were, uh, then you know the better protection you had. Uh, against the common cold as far as this study is concerned. And their conclusion was that poorer sleep efficiency and uh, shorter sleep duration in the weeks preceding exposure to a rhinovirus were associated with lower resistance to the illness. So this is kind of similar to my experience really. Uh, you know, if you are sleep deprived, then you are more susceptible to developing the infection. So study number two uh, looked at or answered the question, do you respond to vaccination better when you sleep well? And uh, this is the study. Uh, the study is titled, Sleep Enhances the Human Antibody Response to Hepatitis A Vaccination. So uh, what was this study about? Well, the researchers took uh, two groups of participants uh, they administered hepatitis A vaccine at 9 o'clock in the morning and one group went to bed at a regular time. The second group were sleep deprived till 9 p.m. the following day, okay? So more than 24 hours sleep deprivation uh, in the second group. And then the researchers had their hepatitis A antibodies measured for the next 28 days. So essentially they were judging their uh, response. They were accessing uh, what their response was gonna be like, uh, following having proper sleep or being sleep deprived. So what were the results? Uh, well, subjects who had regular sleep after vaccination displayed a nearly two-fold higher hepatitis A virus antibody titer after four weeks than subjects staying awake on this night. So those who actually went to bed on the day had a better response to the vaccination. 
So their conclusion was that sleep compared to uh, sleep deprivation on the night after vaccination improves the formation of antigen specific immune defense. So if you uh, went to bed at your regular time following vaccination, you had a better response to the vaccination. So that's something for you to note there, very, very important. Now, as far as research into uh, sleep and immunity is concerned, you can actually go deep and uh, you get lost in it. So what I have done is to keep this video short, I've uh, extracted a few bullet points for uh, you guys. So the first one is that sleep enhances formation of immunological memory. Very, very important. So if you sleep well, your immune system is going to recognize a prior threat. And when the threat strikes again, your immune system will defend you better. Uh, second point is that prolonged sleep deprivation uh, results in a rise of inflammatory markers, low-grade inflammation on the one hand and immunodeficiency on the other. Uh, what that is also uh, saying is that if you are chronically sleep deprived, you uh, make yourself prone to developing low-grade inflammation. As you know, uh, low-grade inflammation is implicated in a lot of uh, chronic diseases, so uh, not a good idea to sleep deprive yourself. Uh, next point is that sleep and the circadian system are strong regulators of immunological processes mediated by neurotransmitters, hormones, and cytokines. And the next point being that robust changes actually occur during the sleep and wake cycle. Okay, so a lot does happen, especially if you align your sleep with the circadian system, uh, you get better benefits. So in, in essence, you go to bed in the night, uh, you get better benefits than if you're going to bed uh, during the day because you are, you'll be out of work with the circadian uh, rhythm when you're going to bed during the day as opposed to being uh, in bed at night. Next point is that immunity key players like white blood cells, lymphocyte T cells, the B cells, the natural killer cells, they all improve their numbers and function during sleep. So not a bad idea. You need these bad boys to protect you. They are your soldiers. So when you sleep well, then they are ready to fight for you. Uh, they will protect you. Now, next point is that many immune functions display prominent rhythms in synchrony with regular 24-hour sleep-wake cycle, reflecting the synergistic actions of sleep and the circadian uh, system. Similar point to what I uh, said earlier. And this other point being that sleep supports the production of cytokines that mount an adaptive response to threats. So generally speaking, you need your sleep for your immune system to perform optim optimally. It's a bad idea for you to skimp on your sleep because if you do that, you'll be leaving the door open for, you know, germs, especially viruses, uh, to attack you. So uh, don't leave the door open, uh, get good sleep. That way, your immune system will be ready to protect you when it is called upon. That's the essence of this presentation. And also, uh, sleep is important for your immunological memory. Sleep, when you sleep well, your immune system will know that a threat has been before. And uh, when that threat comes again, it's ready to fight it off. So uh, that's the whole idea behind this presentation. So uh, hopefully you, you enjoyed uh, this presentation. If you did, give it a thumbs up, please like the uh, video. Uh, please share this video with your friends, family, and colleagues. If you've got any questions, any uh, comments regarding this video go ahead and leave them down below as usual um, I think that's about it until next time. Well, this is dr. Joe signing out